priests and lay worshippers in Ethiopia are on a mission to replicate or even recreate centuries-old religious manuscripts and sacred artwork in efforts to preserve traditions and heritage. How are they doing that? Find out in this next report. At this courtyard in Ethiopia's capital, workers stretch the goatskins tightly over metal frames to dry under a weak sun which barely pierces the milky sky. Once clean and dry, these skins are stripped of the goat hair and then cut to the desired size for use as pages of a book or for painting. After the goat skin is immersed in the water for three to four days, we make holes on the edge of the skin and tie it to the metal so that it can stretch. After that, we remove the extra layer of fat on the skin's interior to make it clean. Armed with a bamboo ink pen and a steady hand, Ethiopian Orthodox priest Zelale Mola carefully copies text in the ancient Gyes language from a religious book onto a goatskin parchment. This painstaking task is preserving an ancient tradition. At the Hamare Berhan Institute in Addis Ababa, priests and lay worshippers work by hand to replicate sometimes centuries-old religious manuscripts and sacred artwork. Ancient parchment manuscripts are disappearing from our culture, which motivated us to start this project. Most of this literature can only be obtained in monasteries because only parchment manuscripts are used for chanting and prayers, not paper. However, this custom is rapidly fading and has become difficult for the monks. We thought if we could learn skills from our priests, we could work on it ourselves. So that is how we began. Like most other religious works, Zena Selassie is written in Giyaz. This dead language remains the language of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. And its alpha syllabic system, where the characters represent syllables, is still used to write Ethiopia's national language, Amharic as well as Tigrinya. It needs patience and focus. It is started with a prayer in the morning, at lunchtime, and ends with a prayer. It is difficult for an individual to write and finish a book, even to sit the whole day. But because of our devotion, a light shines brightly within us. The scribes use different pens for each color used in the text, black or red, and either a fine or broad tip with the inks made from various local plants. They are hoping that these recreated ancient transcripts will serve generations to come. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.